But it's stormy. It is not a lot of fun. Let's go to Disney World, shall we? So when you hear about the most magical place on Earth, really, everyone thinks about Disney, right? Now, whether you're planning your first trip or you're enjoying the park for the 10th time, the Disney Parks Moms panel is a one-stop shop for all the answers you need for your next Disney vacation. And welcome Canadian resident Disney Parks Moms panelist, Lynn Schlala. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Coolest title of all time. I know. It's so much fun. It really is a dream come true. How do you get on this panel? So the Disney Parks Moms panel is an online planning tool for guests who are planning their Disney Parks vacation. So we are a panel of about 40 moms, dads, grandparents, non-parents, you name it. Mm -hmm. And we give people personalized tips for when they're planning their Walt Disney World vacation. How many times have you been? Oh, I've lost count <laughs> several times a year. I'm okay. really lucky. <laughs> so for people who have, say, never been before, it can be overwhelming. What is the number one thing you say when you're planning this trip to Disney? Well, the very first thing is to download an app for your phone, and it's an online planning tool called My Disney Experience. And what it does is it allows guests to put all of the components of their Disney vacation, so the four, park, four theme parks, two water parks, uh, their resort reservations, their fast passes. Mm -hmm. Everything is in one central spot. So you're able to really have a good overview view of what it is that you're going to do on your vacation. Got it. But the biggest tip after that is to pace yourself. Please, please pace yourself. Because you might you have one kid that says, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, and then you over plan and then, then you're just white. Well, you kind of, what I always say is there, the magic's in the details and the yeah. magic is in the moments. And if you get too focused on trying to see and do everything, you miss the moment. Uh, like I've said, I've been several times a year <laughs> now, and uh, I still haven't seen everything. So mm -hmm. what I love about my Disney experience is that it allows you to really focus in on your must-dos and really focus in on the things that are important to your family mm -hmm. so that then you can let go and just see where the day takes you. Okay, so let's pretend I'm planning a trip to Disney. I have a million questions. Mm -hmm. How do I ask those questions? So you go to www.disneyparksmomspanel.com mm -hmm. and you can submit a question to us. You can submit one to me directly because I'm the Canadian resident panelist this year. Okay. We have a couple of expats who are living in the States, but I'm the one who lives in Canada. So you can submit a question to me or to any one of our specialists and they even cover uh, Disney Cruise Line, Disneyland Resort, you name it. What is the weirdest question you've received? <laughs> uh, well we get a lot of questions about whether or not there are fridges in a Walt Disney World Resort hotel room mm -hmm. and one of the craziest questions we've gotten recently is can you bring an instant pot into your resort hotel okay, room? Okay, I see. You know, people are trying to maybe save money and make the meals. Right. The answer is... The answer is, well, for the Instant Pot, no. But because you have a fridge in your room, that's actually one of the big budgeting tips I give mm. people is to, you know, get you can get groceries delivered. You can even go pick them up in your resort's gift shop and just have breakfast in the room. That way you've eaten and you're refreshed for your day of fun. So you're not constantly eating out all the time, all the right. time, right? Um, what, what are the things you should pack? Because I feel like mm. I'm an overpacker just for me. But I can imagine with kids. So, what are the must haves for packing? Uh, there's three comfortable shoes, mm -hmm. test them out before you leave, um, sunscreen, yeah. and a backup battery for your cell phone to be able to make sure that you uh. can take pictures and use the My Disney Experience app because there's free Wi Fi in all of the parks, which is great for Canadians. Uh, and no selfie sticks allowed, right? No selfie sticks. That's no. a big one. Yeah. And will they, you know, will they take it away from you? They will. will they... they will hold it for you at guest relations and then you can pick it up after your Disney day. They will hold it. That's a nice way to say it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, tips for traveling uh, with kids. There are there certain right. things that you should keep in mind. Well, with if you have really little kids, what we did with our guy because his first visit was when he was five and a half months old. Wow! And um, what we did is we would shift his nap a little later in the day. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we would go in the morning, we would see all of the different uh, resorts, we would go to one of the four theme parks and just have a lot of fun, go back for a nap. But we would make it a little bit later so that we could then go out for dinner and see fireworks. But he was well rested, so instead of sleeping from, say, noon to two, he would sleep from two to four. So you're timing things with the fireworks, with the dinner, right, exactly. so go with the schedule of the, the park. Well, and that's right? another great first time planning tip, is to really divide your day up into three chunks. So mm -hmm. you've got your morning, your afternoon, and your evening, and go back for a rest in the afternoon. For that's... the parents, you mean, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a lot. It, well, it's a lot for everybody. You yeah. know, you just, you, that's the vacation. The vacation is just to be able to relax and enjoy yourself, too. And, 
And if you're if you're tired, you're not having fun. Well, no, and yeah. I rarely recommend that people stay in the parks for you know eight, ten hours straight. That just that doesn't seem like fun to me, no. and I love the place. Oh, thank you so much for being here. We didn't even get to uh, everything, but don't forget uh, when you're planning your next vacation, uh, we will definitely go to Disney Parks Mom's panel. We'll put all the information on our website, DisneyWorld.ca, for all things Disney. It would be so nice to think about Disney right now, but instead, it's the storm, Tammy. The storm.